how to log in to the Windows XP system hidden user account. Click on start, run, and type in cnd.exe and click OK. Now schedule your new command by typing in at 2202 whatever time one minute is after your time. Type in forward slash interactive and cnd.exe is what you're going to have it set for. Press enter. Now you're going to have to wait a little while until a new CMD prompt window loads up and you may notice something different about the window. It's actually svchost.exe and no longer cmd. So now you can quit your cmd window and go back to your svchost window. But first, before we do that, let's go down to the taskbar and then right click on it, click on task manager and close any explorer.exe processes. Now you can quit Windows Task Manager, you won't be needing that anymore. Now type in explorer.exe to log into good old Windows again. But this time, it's logging you into the Windows system account. On this account you'll probably come across administrative rights. So if you're a limited user or a guest of this computer, you'll love this account. Please take note. This probably doesn't work on publicly networked machines for security purposes. And may I say, if you do try this in a school, business, company, organization of any kind, the chances are you'll get caught. In case you hadn't a guessed, Windows loves to take its time. So sadly, you'll have to wait for it. Tick, tock, tick, tock. If you wish, you can close cmd.exe now. You don't need it no longer. Are you tired yet? And here we are. Now it's loaded up with Windows. Attempt clicking on the start button to see the username at the top to see what account you're logged into. If all goes well, you should be logged into system. And all has gone well. Be sure to check out the control panel on user accounts to see if you can have access to any other users. You should not be limited on this account. And that's how you log into the hidden Windows XP system user account.